You're listening to Catholic Express, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. there sprouts welcome back to our discussion of the eighth commandment thou shalt not bear false witness thou shalt be truthful we've already talked about the fact that there is truth despite what the world might say and that truth is jesus christ we've talked about the devastating effect of lies how we need to speak the truth but how in certain situations we might instead need to be silent We've talked about what it means to live the truth and how we as Catholics have a creed that explains what this truth is that we believe as Catholics. And today we're going to talk about two smaller issues, but definitely important issues when we talk about truthfulness. And these two topics we're going to discuss today are gossip and hypocrisy. So first of all, gossip. So when we gossip, we are talking behind someone's back, and we are oftentimes saying things that are hurtful or disparaging about that person. Gossip can most definitely be lies. We can be making up lies about someone, and that is obviously a sin. But gossip can also be when we are sharing things that are actually true, For example, if we know that our friend stole something and they lied about it and we're just gathering our friends around to tell them all and to really make this person seem terrible because we know this truth, that is still gossip. If we are in possession of the truth about someone else, if we have either found it out or they have trusted us enough to tell us then we have a responsibility to use that truth well. There most definitely are situations where we need to speak up and tell the truth, even if it gets someone else in trouble. But that is never the purpose of gossip. When someone gossips, even when they are telling something that is true, the purpose is to harm someone else's reputation. In the group that you are in, when you're behind this person's back, you're trying to make this whole group think poorly of another person. Now, this is obviously a sin. We should always be motivated by love. If someone has done something that is bad, yes, we can speak about it, but only in a way that is loving and that will develop good for this person not something that will make it worse or tear them down. Now, the other area that we're going to talk about today is hypocrisy. Now, hypocrisy is when you say something, but you do something else. For example, if you're sitting down to dinner tonight and your mother gives you a lecture about eating all the food on your plate and you need to eat your vegetables because they're good for you. If you don't eat them, you won't be strong and healthy. And so you do what you're told. You eat all the food on your plate, including your vegetables. But then at the end of the meal, when you're clearing the plates, you notice that your mother did not eat her own broccoli, but instead left it on her plate. Well, this would be an example of hypocrisy. She told you to do something. She told you it was true and good to do this, but then she didn't do it herself. Now, hypocrisy is usually where we speak the truth, but we don't live the truth. With all that we have talked about today, this is a particularly important thing to think about as Catholics. Each Sunday when we go to Mass and we stand and profess the creed, which is the truth of Jesus Christ and what he accomplished on earth and God the Father and the Holy Spirit, it is the truth. If we stand and profess that, but then we leave church And we live in a way that is not in line with what Jesus Christ stood for and taught and did. And we live in a way that does not acknowledge that we are beloved child of Jesus Christ in a temple of the Holy Spirit. Then we are being a hypocrite. We have spoken the truth in church, but we are not living the truth. 
Now, this is a hard thing to really live this truth fully is something that we will work to do a little bit better each day of our whole lives. So we don't need to despair or hate ourselves, but we do need to acknowledge that if I am going to stand in church and profess the truth, I need to make a connection with the life I am living. If there isn't a connection there, then I unfortunately am a hypocrite. And I'm showing the world that even though I might say this is not true, in the same way that that mother at dinner, she might be trying to tell her kids to eat the broccoli, but will they really do it if they know she's not doing it? No, they're going to start refusing to eat their own broccoli because she doesn't. Likewise, if you stand and profess this faith, but you don't live it, people in your life will start to say, well, that must not be true because they don't live it. So that is the big task for us for the rest of our lives. It is a big responsibility to be Catholic and to have the fullness of truth. We can't just say it. We need to do it. And so Sprouts, my challenge for you today is to once again, go back to the creed. There is a link to the creed once again in the notes for this podcast episode. Go to it and once again, listen to it. But this time as you listen, not only evaluate if you believe it, but also if you act in accordance with this truth, if you are demonstrating to the world that you believe Jesus Christ is the Lord of the universe, that you believe you are a beloved child of God and that you are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Listen and wonder, when I say these truths, do I then go and live them? That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing. We like to invite you to come and check out The Creed, which is a series for parents and children to use in the home during this uncertain time in the fall. It is a in-depth look at all that we believe, which we profess in the Nicene Creed each Sunday at Mass. It is made for the whole family, has some fun printables to go along with it. It will be very easy to use no matter which point you are with your own faith. And it is on sale right now for just $7 for the whole bundle, which will take you from September all the way up into Advent. So check the notes for this podcast episode for the direct link to find more details. 